There are many ways to set up an aquarium uh, tank for your reptile, but this is how I like to set it up. This is the one the ones I have set up right now. If you look in the back, I have a, a thermostat or a thermometer. And then there's that's actually got two gauges on it. One's in the hot spot and one's there for the ambient temperature. And I've got two hides, one on each side of the tank. That um, one's on the cold side, one's on the hot side. And there's a water dish back there. And I have the same thing set up here. Light over here. With the there's my one of my girls and you see the cork going down there that's sitting on the hot spot this one the ambient temperature is back there and it fell but there's also a few different ways to heat tanks these two have um, heat tape under them and this big thermostat here it's actually you can't see it but it's set at 95 because I have so much substrate here that that's what I have to have it at I actually have that on here too because my house is 69 degrees and so I have a ceramic heat element on these two tanks. Moving back to this tank, this is the one that this girl right here was in and then I moved her over with the heat tape. And this down here is my heating pad and right here where my finger is, that is the probe for the thermostat. And I don't know if I can lift this up. I Okay, then we'll turn it over. See, here's the heating pad, and it's warm because it's still on. And here's the tape. I used electrical tape because that is that's an electrical thing, so I wanted to use an electrical tape. I left a gap here because that's where the the probe's going in, and it's a little bent, but it's not much. That's as flat as I can get it with the probe there. But feeling the whole thing, it's hot. Um, I also have. You see, I have a, um, over here, actually go on this side, I have a paper, it's actually construction paper, but um, if you use cork board, it's even better as an insulator for